Hello, our dear, dear students. Hello, 8th graders. How are you? How have you been doing? Are you okay? Are you bored? Is everything fine? I really do hope you're fine. By the way, Maria says hello because she misses you. But I hear from her every day. And we work together a lot still. So don't forget about her because she misses you. Now, today we'll talk about Easter, about something different when it comes to Easter, something that you're not really used to. It's not Easter in our country, it's in UK. So again, guys, let's do our thing. Welcome to our English TV classroom. Again, we've got Adam who says, now let's check our homework first. I know, I know, but it's just homework. It wasn't that hard. I know you know it. And Sam, of course, agrees with that. She says, let's do that. So this was homework and we're checking it. If you need a proof, here's your mobile phone, mobilko as we call it. Please do take a photo of this if it's easier for you. Just we're checking now. So it was about indirect and direct speech. Also, indirect speech is called reported speech because it starts with reported verb, such as said, say, says, tell, told, and so on, asked. So, the first one was, he works in a bank. She said that he worked in a bank. Guys, I know you know this, but as you remember, first you see what's in direct sentence it's works so it's present simple so what do you do with reported verb is for example said and it is in past simple then you put present simple into past simple so you get she said that he worked in a bank i know you got this we went out last night so she said that they had gone out the night before. Pogledajte ovo što je crvenim uh, zabeleženo. Uh, treba će vam. Šta je ovde postalo the night before? Pa postalo je last night. Zašto? Ako je neko rekao izašli smo napolje, išli smo u izlazak, sinoć, prošlu noć, kad prepričavate to nekome za nekoliko dana ili za neko vreme, reći ćete... Ona je rekla da su oni izašli te noći. Nećete reći sinoć, kao što je ona rekla. Jer to sinoć više nije isto sinoć. Dakle, morate da kažete da je to bilo neku prethodnu noć u odnosu na kad vam je ona to rekla. Ali o tome ćemo pričati kasnije, samo ovdje želim da vam skrenem pažnju. To je ono što, što nismo do kraja rekli dok smo radili indirektni govor prošli put. Odnosno, neupravni i upravni. So, three was, I'm coming. So, he said that he was coming. Ovo je stvarno jednostavno, znam da to znate. I am coming, he was coming. Znači, ako je present continuous, u indirektnom govoru to postaje past continuous. So, number four. E, ovdje imate rečenicu koja ima zapravo dva glagola, odnosno se stoji se iz dve glagola rečenice, takozvano prosto prošireno u srpskom. I was waiting for the bus when he arrived. Znači imate dve radnje ovdje. She said that she had been waiting, zato što je was waiting, kao past continuous, prešlo u past perfect continuous. Had been waiting for the bus when he arrived, će postati when he had arrived, jer past simple prelazi u past perfect. Lucy, number five, Lucy will come later. They told me that Lucy would come later. Znači, will, prelazi would. I don't like chocolate. He said that he didn't like chocolate. Don't, prelazi didn't. Zašto? Zato što present simple, prelazi past simple. Number seven, I won't see you tomorrow. She said that she wouldn't see me the next day or the following day. Dakle, tomorrow je prešlo u the next day ili the following day. Možete kažete čak i the day after. 
Dakle, važno je da kažete da je to što je ona rekla sutra, kada vi prepričavate, to nije isto sutra. Da vas neko ne bi pogrešno razumeo, reći ćete, rekla je da će doći sledećeg dana. Tog dana koji je za nju bio sledeći. Ali to ne znači da tog dana kog vi prepričavate to je zapravo sutradan. Tako da ne bi došlo do konfuzije, da se neko ne bi pojavio na pogrešnom mestu ili da neko nekog ne bi čekao na pogrešnom mestu, morate da naglasite da ako je ona rekla doći ću sutra, da to ne znači zaista sutra. Nego da je ona rekla da će doći narednog dana. Ali ovdje imate slobodu kako ćete to da kažete. Možete reći the next day, možete reći the following day, možete da kažete the, the day after that day, Um, ili the day after samo, ali bitno je, to je manje važno kako ćete tačno da to iskažete, mnogo je važnije da budete svesni da to sutra kada neko priča nije isto sutra kada ga vi prepričavate i da to svesno promenite. She hadn't eaten sushi before. They said that she hadn't eaten sushi before. Znači hasn't eaten je present perfect i prelazi u Past perfect. I can help you tomorrow. He told me that he could help me the next day. So can, kao što will, prelazi u would, tako i can, prelazi u could. One more slide. Ten. Where was John yesterday? She asked me where John had been the day before or the previous day. Kao što se sećate, Marija je profesorka, to jako lepo objašnjavala. Kad imate WH question, to su pitanja na koje ne možete da govorite sa da ili ne. Dakle, to su pitanja koje počinju sa WH upitnim rečicama. Kao što su where, when, why, which, how much, how many, whose i tako dalje i tako dalje. Tada u indirektnom govoru, odnosno u reported speech, kada prepričavate, menjate red reči. Znači, nećete reći she asked me where had been John, nego ćemo reći where John had been the day before ili the previous day. Zašto? Zato što yesterday prelazi ili u the day before ili the previous day. To je ista ona stvar, logika da naše juče nije isto kao juče ono koji to izgovorio. U zavisnosti od toga kada to prepričavamo. Mi možemo nešto da prepričamo i da nekog citiramo i nakon mesec i dva. Does she like your brother? They asked if she liked my brother. Zašto je ovo ovako? Zato što to smo već obrazložili. Mislim da je ovo treći put da pričamo o tome da yes no question, odnosno pitanje na koje se odgovara se da ili ne, koje znači Marija je to nazvala da li pitanje, u indirektnom govoru, odnosno neupravnom, se menjaju u if te rečice upitne, odnosno pomoćni glagoli. Does she like your brother? They asked if she liked my brother. Does she like a present simple? Zato ide liked u past simple. Don't jump in the house. Opa, imperativ. He told us not to jump in the house. Da im je neko rekao jump in the house, bilo bi he told us to jump in the house. Ali pošto je don't zabrana, onda će biti not to. And of course, Adam notices that everything in red is something new. So he says, so time expressions, znači svi izrazi koji koriste vreme, change too. And Sam of course says, yes. Look at some examples. So what are examples? Time expressions in reported speech. Evo ga opet mobilko. Tako da možete da uslikate, ukoliko mislite da je ovo važno, a važno je, da vam pomogne da se setite u početku, prepišite također, da se u početku dok vam ne uđe u naviku, da svako last year, last month, last night ili yesterday, kad prebacujete u neupravni govor, odnosno indirektni govor ili reported speech, da i to treba da promenite. Pa, ukoliko vam je lakše da imate ovde sve napismeno, tako sam vam napravila. Međutim, ako vam nije tako lakše, uvek možete i opisno da kažete. Dakle, last year uglavnom prelazi u year ago, last month u a month ago. Last night je a night before. 
prethodna noć. Yesterday, the day before. Prethodni dan. Two days ago je two days before. Pre dva dana. Bukvalno kao u našem jeziku. Two days before. Again, now postaje then. For example, I can't listen to you now. She told me she couldn't listen to me then. Jer to što ona je rekla now, kad vi pripričavate nekom, now je već prošlo. Mislim da je sad već stvarno jasno. This week prelazi u that week. Tomorrow, kao što rekao, imate nekoliko opcije uvek. The following day or the next day or the day after. The next weekend će biti the following weekend. Weekend koji sledi. Kao što je ovde to weekend koji sledi, samo ćete ga drugačije reći. The following weekend. Jer next weekend onom koji priča i kad vi pripričavate, jednostavno nije isti. So, Adam is bored with grandma, of course, and he says, let's talk about Easter. So, Sam, of course, has an interesting story. So, she said, sure, I have got an interesting story. So, guys, tell me. This is going to be your homework as well. To celebrate Easter. If you celebrate Easter, what do you do? What are the customs that you do? What does your mother do? What does your father do? What does the whole family do? Your nieces, your brothers, sisters, grandmothers, grandfathers, if you have them. What happens in Easter? What happens when the day comes? When you wake up? What do you do? What's your favorite part of the Easter holiday? What is the favorite thing? Is it dying eggs? Is it... Finding presents, is it? What is your favorite part of this holiday? If you do not celebrate it, what do you know about this holiday? So, please, for homework, answer to these questions. Answer these questions in short forms, just a sentence or two as an answer to each and every question. Mobilko is also here and he says, hello, guys, take a picture. Also, this is going to be for your homework. This is Easter quiz, but I can help you with that. So, I need you to... Guys, look at these questions and just think. Think what's logical for you. Maybe you're not, you do not come from traditional family. Maybe you're not religious. Maybe you're not interested in this. But this is something that is called common knowledge. It's something that's cultural heritage, something you should be aware of as a being updated and informed person. So, Easter Day is always on Sunday, true or false? Think about it. Easter is on the same date every year, true or false? If it's false, please explain why is it not on the same date, maybe? If it's on the same date, explain why is it on the same date every year. Easter eggs symbolize rebirth. Re, uvek kad stoji re, to je neko ponavljanje od latinske reči repetitio. Rebirth, re-establish, ponovo spostaviti, reconnect, ponovo se povezati s nekim, ponovo nešto povezati. Redo, ponovo nešto uraditi i tako dalje i tako dalje. So, rebirth, ponovno rođenje. Lent. E, ovo je nova reč za vas. Lent is a period of fastening that lasts for certain days before Easter. So, Lent lasts for the 50 days before Easter. True or false? How many days... You should not eat dairy products and meat, or drink milk, or eat, I don't know, ham, or eggs, or cheese, or whatever is forbidden. So, Lent is a period of time when you have to carefully choose your food, if you are religious, so you do not eat anything that comes from an animal. The Easter rabbit is a symbol of fertility. Fertility, fertilnost, plodnost. 
ukoliko ne znate, ali mislim da prilično svi znate tu reč. So that's part of homework too. I may get to that later if um, there is enough time. But guys, it's really not that hard. So there's a story about chocolate, eggs, Easter and some more chocolate. So Easter in the United Kingdom. For a lot of people in the United Kingdom, the Christian festival of Easter means the opportunity to eat chocolate eggs. Because let's face it, everyone likes chocolate. As soon as January the 2nd arrives, so two days after the new year, shops remove the Christmas products from their shelves and the Christmas decorations from their windows. What fills the empty spaces? Of course, you know what? Chocolate Easter eggs, Easter bunnies and Easter chicks. Although Easter itself doesn't come along until a few months later. So, as soon as Christmas products are done, as soon as everyone's done with Christmas, Christmas products are drawn from the shelves and everything is replaced by celebration of another holiday and that's Easter. In case no, anybody doesn't know, Easter chicks, chicks, so little hands, odnosno pilici, and there's a lot of symbol symbolism in that. So, Easter also means that we have public holidays. Public holidays are holidays that are celebrated, not publicly in terms of some manifestations in the street, but public holidays means that almost nobody in the country works. National holiday, for example. Državni praznik. Good Friday. What Friday is important in Christianity? What Friday do we celebrate before Easter? Why doesn't anyone work on Friday before Easter? Exactly because it's a good Friday and that's a holiday. And of course, there is an Easter Monday, day after Easter, and also nobody works. So it is the longest public holiday after Christmas because nobody works from Thursday to what? Tuesday. So you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday free and it's public holiday. So people sometimes take the opportunity, iskoriste priliku, take the opportunity to take a short break away from work by extending their leave. Leave, kao što znate, znači kao glagol da se ode negde, e leave, odlazak s posla, odnosno godišnji odmor ili odsustvo, to je sve leave. Extend, produžiti, nešto odugovlačiti, extend, inače znači proširenje, rastezanje. Dakle, people just take the opportunity, iskoriste priliku, to take a short break away from work by extending their leave. Dakle, pošto već imaju nekoliko slobodnih dana, spoje to sa drugim danima. So how do we say good Friday in our language? Tako je veliki petak. And Easter Monday, how do we say that? Zovemo ga vaskršnji ili uskršnji ponedeljak. I know you know this. So, there are many people with many experiences. Everybody is doing something differently. But Cheryl from Liverpool said, I use the Easter break to visit relatives. Easter break. Remember that. To visit relatives and socialize with friends. The chocolate giving and receiving is good bonus, she says. Okay, we've got another chocolate lover here, aren't we all? So, Easter break je, naravno, ono što je vreme koje, se, koje je neradno, to imate i vi. Dakle, Easter break je uskašnji raspust. Ili prosto ne mora da bude vezan za školu, može da bude vezan za fakultete, ili prosto predah uskršnji predah uh, s posla, uh, mini, mini leave, to visit relatives and socialize. Socialize. Kad kažu social networks, kako mi to prevodimo? Društvene mreže. Znači to je nešto što služi za socijalizaciju, društvo, udruživanje. So you socialize with your friends. Šta to znači? 
nećemo reći sigurno u našem jeziku socijalizujem se s prijateljima, nego šta radiš s prijateljima, družiš se naravno. So socialize, being social. Eggs have been associated with the Christian festival of Easter, which celebrates the death and resurrection of Christ since the early days of the church. So resurrection, opet imamo reč koja počinja re, znači nešto se ponovo dešava. Međutim, ovo je raspeć. Resurrection je vezan za trenutak kada je po predanju Isus razapet i kada je vaskrsao. He rose again, so vaskrsnuć. Eggs have been associated with the Christian festival, još jednom, of Easter. So eggs are associated with Easter and with resurrection of Christ. Try to think, what is the connection between the resurrection of Christ and eggs? Where were the eggs during the time of resurrection? So both the Christian and pagan versions of Easter celebrate life and rebirth. Rebirth, ponovno rađanje. However, Christian customs connected with Easter eggs are, to some extent, adaptations of ancient pagan practices relating to spring rituals. Ancient, drevni, neki bi rekli antički, pagan, paganstvo, to ste sigurno učili, Paganski običaj, paganstvo, dakle, to je bila vrlo dominantna vrsta ponašanja, praksi koje su imali ritualne, religiozne momente, a koji su postojali pre hrišćanstva. I mnogi hrišćanski običaje su zapravo samo preuzeti od paganskih i uklopljeni u hrišćanske. So, ancient pagan practices, drevne paganske prakse, odnosno rituali i navike. So they were related to spring rituals. So Easter is always connected to spring. Of course, because it's a spring festival. It celebrates the resurrection of Christ, as we said, and in the European pre-Christian tradition, so before Christ, it celebrates the return of nature and the greenery after the cold, snowy winter. So greenery Pretty much you can see in the picture what greenery means. That's why I put this picture here. Because that's greenery. Zelenil. Tako je. The Easter chick, as I said, it's a little hen. So, it's chicken. Small. The small one. Pile. Uskršnje pile. The Easter chick symbolizes new life. The rabbit represents fertility, as I said plodnost, the ability to reproduce. And the egg symbolizes both. So egg means new life and means fertility. That is why painted eggs or chocolate eggs are given as gifts at Easter. So there is a legend that these eggs were put under Jesus' resurrection Christ. And it was a cross he was just put onto and it was his blood that actually spilt over the eggs so that blood of jesus basically is a tradition why are eggs painted in red most of the time but not many uh, christian traditions rely to this so there is a story that this might be true that's why Eggs are dyed in red in most of the cases, but it doesn't have to be globally accepted, of course. But again, chocolate, chocolate. So chocolate Easter eggs are sold in larger numbers every year in the UK. The average child in the UK receives six to ten large chocolate eggs, and that's not including the small ones. So look at this picture, guys. So this huge egg, I mean, how many little eggs are inside? Ooh. Again, there's the Easter lunch menu. So, what do we eat on Easter? I've put some pictures here so you can see. For example, hot cross buns. Cross because you see the cross. This symbolizes these buns. Buns su zemičke. It's usually sweet. Uh, it's served hot and it's got a cross. 
Kod nas ne postoji pravi prevod za to, recimo da se kaže uskošnje pecivo. Roast chicken, you see what roast chicken is. So, the picture says itself. Smoked salmon, smoked, dimljeni. Salmon, losos, vidite na slici. Lemon cake, of course. Chocolate eggs, you know. Lamb curry. Curry means pieces of meat mixed with in a stew, like boiled, cooked, and mixed with many, many different, as you can see, different spices and herbs. Spring vegetable salad. I didn't have place to put picture, but you know what vegetable salad is. Guys, another part of the homework. Just answer the questions quickly. What did you find out about Easter in the UK? Would you like to spend Easter in the UK? Why? Why not? And are there any special times of year in your country where you eat special sweets or chocolate? Think about this because I know there is there is a special time of year when we eat some things that we don't eat in any other situation, basically. At last, but not least, to those who celebrated Easter on previous two Sundays, Maria and I wish a very happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter, enjoy with your families. So our dear TV pupils, I hope you had fun today. So copy this quiz and other questions in your notebooks or type them into your computer or in Word, for example, or Excel, whatever makes you happy. Make presentation, just whatever feels like you want to do it. Just please do the homework, guys. I know you would, but just do it. Goodbye for now. Again, take care of yourselves, wash your hands, stay healthy, listen to your parents, and of course, stay tuned. Bye, guys.